So hi guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we're doing a, a sequel to the video I done last time about one light setup. And if you want to see the first part of that, it's going to be here in the description above. So today we're talking about clamshell lighting. So at the moment, I've got one light set up at 45 degrees on this side raised up to 45 degrees it's quite a large umbrella so it's producing quite soft light coming across the face this is called rembrandt lighting and it is covered as i said up here but today we want to concentrate on another type of light we can use with one light and that is the clamshell lighting setup so bear with me and i'll set it up so as you can see from the diagram you have the light source placed above the subject at a slight angle pointing in and you have the reflector as close as possible to the subject just below so my reflector is just here and as the name suggests you're causing your subject to be in a clamp shell like settings this type of lighting is really great because it causes light to be on the face and it also fills in the shadows under the chin so there's less contrast uh, it's a more flattering light if you're doing beauty photography if you're doing fashion if you do portraits and as you can see from the example that i showed you in the other previous video that this is more light and airy and it's really useful this type of lighting is extremely easy to do. All you need, again, is one light suspended above and a reflector underneath. And depending on what type of reflector you use, you can have a white one, a gold one, or a silver one, depending on the particular look you're trying to get. But that is beyond the remit of today's video. I shall do another video regarding reflectors. So stay tuned and we'll do another quick setup with one light. So let's move on from that and let's start talking about the next simple setup and that's top lighting. So let me just quickly set it up. So top lighting is, as the name suggests, is placing the light directly above the subject. So there we have our top lighting so the light is literally just above me here and it's coming down so what that does is it's causes shadows to be under my brim under my eyes under my nose my lips and under my chin it's a more dramatic kind of light because it carves out the facial features it's not as dramatic as the first setup we did in this video a quick bonus tip if you think the shadows are too deep you can control the shadows by simply placing our trusted reflector again back under our chin bouncing light again back into the subject again this is bordering on a clam light shell setup but with that reflector that's how it looks let's talk very quickly about another setup we can do by just rearranging this top light at a slight angle so if i just tilt it there i don't want to i don't want to get it into shot there we go it's in shot so let me just raise it up slightly so now that is top lighting but it is slightly away from me so what that does is causes light to be filled into my face and if you look closely it causes shadows to be under my nose this type of lighting is called butterfly lighting and it is used often in fashion photography and also high-end photography so if you're working with um, a makeup artist and you want to showcase her work, then this type of lighting 
could suffice. As you can see, with just one light and placing the light at various positions, that you can get several different types of looks with your photography. I think with photography, it's the understanding and the control of light that really makes your photography. So whether you're shooting outdoors in natural light or in a studio type setting, understanding how actually light works is a major part of your photography. And it can be very simple. So you've seen how I move the light around and by just simply moving the light around, I've got different looks with the images. Photography is all about learning. Photography is all about experimenting and doing different things. So guys, let me just thank you for joining us on the channel today. If this is your first time here and you want to become a part of the community and the family here on the channel, then why not subscribe and touch that notification bell. As always, stay safe and happy shooting so guys i just want to give a quick caveat as soon as the lockdown measures has ended i will be getting models in and i will be replicating this type of lighting and talking about it more in depth so stick around for that bye bye